Hi y'all, this is Stephanie Jimenez Schiller with Vogue Vignette and I am excited to welcome y'all to my fashion illustration workshop hosted by the wonderful folks at Almost Real Things. Today we're going to be working on how to illustrate some really fabulous clothing. I'm going to walk you through a few different steps that I've learned over my 10 years of being a fashion illustrator. So today you'll need your number two pencil. You will also need your Almost Real Things and Vogue Vignette workbook. If you don't have your workbook, you can grab any kind of copy paper, a journal, or a sketchbook that you have lying around. And you can also head on over to your refrigerator. We have, most people have hot dogs. Take a hot dog out of the package. You might want to use a pen with that because they're very sticky. Um, use that. It's going to make for a really good surface and add some really good coloring to your illustration. Y'all ready for this? Are you? I can't hear you. Okay, let's get started. So I am going to take y'all down memory lane real quick and we are gonna work on some of the fundamentals of fashion illustration, shape and line. So pull out your workbook or your hot dog, whatever it is you're working with today, and let's get started. So what we're gonna be doing is we pull out your workbook and you are going to illustrate all of these basic shapes that we learned in kindergarten. So we're just gonna go through and by remembering each of these shapes, it's gonna give us a better idea of how to pull them all together to create the illustration of your dreams. While it won't be perfect the first time, uh, practice makes perfect. So keep doing it over and over again. If you hate what you just illustrated, then crumple it up and give it a toss in the recycle bin. Or you can also toss it at someone that you are just really tired of being in quarantine with. So continue working on each of these shapes until you get a really good refresher on illustrating the basics. And you said you couldn't draw. Man, those shapes are looking solid. So these couple of shapes that we're gonna work down here on the bottom are gonna be the ones that we are primarily working with today. Remember, that our bodies are three-dimensional. The things that we are illustrating, the clothing that we are putting on our croquis are going to be three-dimensional. So we wanna start creating the illusion of a three-dimensional shape. Cylinders, that's such a great job. We are also gonna work on our lines. So there are a couple of different types of lines that you can illustrate. The first one we're gonna do is draw two circles. I like to call them destination points. And we're just gonna draw a straight line slowly back and forth between each one. We can see that we get a really even smooth line going all the way across. The next one that we want to work on is going to be a little bit more one-sided. And with this one, we're going to use a motion that is a flick of the wrist. And you can see that at the destination point over here, we're putting down all of our weight and then just flicking the wrist to create almost a feather-like end right there. These two different types of lines are gonna be really important as you're going through and illustrating some of the clothing that we're gonna be drawing today. Okay, so now that we've worked on the fundamentals of our shapes and our lines, let's work on putting them together to create something a little bit more complex. 
So the next thing that we're going to work on is combining all of these shapes and lines together to create the illusion of drape and flow. So let's get rolling. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that shape that we illustrated and just replicate that on your piece of paper. So we're going to draw two of these and they're going to be slightly different. So watch what I do on the second one. Instead of the line at the bottom going down, we're going to lift this curve up just a tiny bit so that we can see that we have two different hemlines, we will call them. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add two more to the side of that initial cylinder. The lines will be the same length, this and here. You can see they're coming up just slightly. And instead of just a perfect curve, we're going to slightly curve it right behind. So what this is going to do eventually is create the illusion of fabric that is curving underneath this other piece of fabric right here. So you can see the little dotted lines that I've illustrated. Just imagine that we have fabric flowing and draping back and forth. Just from a bunch of shapes and lines. Wow, you've got this. The next one that we're going to come back over to, we're going to do the same thing, except it's going to be slightly different. So what we want to do first is imagine that we are seeing the underside of a skirt. I want to come over just slightly, and we're almost creating the curve of a little puzzle piece. And then we want to connect together, create a little curve of a puzzle piece, Connect it back together. And then right here on the very edge, let's zoom in real quick. We're going to draw a line going straight up, straight up. And just so we have a little bit of illusion of shading, I want to just give that a little bit of color. Well, you're almost there. The next thing that I want to show you is how to add stripes to these two different shapes. So if we imagine that this, instead of a cone, is the hem of a skirt, the eraser is always going to be your best friend. Don't feel afraid to just erase something that you made. I'm going to come in. I'm going to illustrate a little waistband. I want to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to shave off the top, draw another waistband. Maybe for this one, I'm going to draw a little top, a little sweetheart top, because who doesn't like their boobies looking real fine in the dress? Oh my gosh, you are doing a fantastic job. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to start coming in and we're going to start adding stripes to our skirt and dress. So I want to follow the curve of the hemline that I'm creating here. And notice how each one is the same thickness. That way when we keep moving this up and down, we end up with the illusion of stripes on our skirt. So I want y'all to follow along with me and create this on y'all's worksheet. All right, so step one complete. Ah, you did it! So the next step is taking all of the techniques that you just learned to create your own style sketches. So pull out all of your materials. You're going to need your croquis page. 
you're going to need your tracing paper and if you don't have either of those in your box then you must not have acted fast enough and we're just going to stare at you for a second Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, you wanna take your tracing paper or your copy paper and place it over your croquis. That way you're gonna be able to see the body that's underneath. So essentially what we're going to be doing is clothing a paper doll. Again, if you don't have your tracing paper, you can find a picture and we're gonna go ahead and put some clothes on it. Let's get started. Take your tracing paper, circle it over. And let's take that shape that we originally drew. And I wanna get some kimono sleeves on here. So I'm gonna take that same shape. Then I can use the shape of the body to just add a little dress or a little kimono jacket. So this one is going to be a V-neck. So I'm just creating these very simple lines. Remember those basic shapes. Then all of the bits and pieces of her body that we did not dress, we wanna go in and we just wanna trace those. Voila, you've created your first outfit. That looks so good. So now we are going to learn how to illustrate your style sketch from a real life model to prepare you for the fashion show that is coming up. So are you ready? Let's do this. So now we wanna focus on the details of his outfit. So we're gonna focus on our V-neck and the wideness of his wonderful sleeves. So we're gonna come into the illustration. I wanna make sure that I am creating a really nice V-neck. And you can make it a little bit deeper if you want. His was a little deep. I, I'm gonna go for a more modest look at the moment. I just wanna follow the lines of the body. Remember those basic fundamental shapes that we were doing earlier. And remember he had a little bit of a tie around his waist, so I just wanna get a little circle in there. Two little ribbons. I'm just going through and I'm illustrating what I see. All you're doing is taking all of those shapes that we learned at the very, very beginning and we're pulling them all together. His kimono robe was a little on the short side, which is perfect, it's how I like him. Then we wanna come back through, illustrate, the rest of the bits and pieces that were not clothed. Remember he had those really good looking boots. We just wanna go through and look at the shape of those boots and illustrate what you see. Even if you've never illustrated boots before, don't think about them in terms of boots, just think about the lines and the shapes that make up the boots. Go one step at a time and put them together. And you're just tracing the image that you see. Stick figures, more like fashion figures. Ready for the reveal? One, two, three.
And now you have created your first style sketch from a real life model. I can't even believe that you just illustrated that. Actually, I can because I taught you. All right, well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all had a really awesome time and learned how to create a style sketch of your own. This is just the first of, I don't know, maybe other ones in the future. If you loved it, go follow me at Vogue Vignette, V-O-G-U-E-V-I-G-N-E-T-T-E, -E -T -T -E, or as my mom says, Vogue Vig, 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 Vignette. And now get ready to use your fashion illustration skills with a fashion show by Kimberly over at Red Moth Art. Take it away.